Hello everyone, this is a guide to the Trouble Brewing minigame. This is a relatively abandoned minigame, it's sort of hard to find a team, but it's actually got some pretty decent gameplay, so here's a guide on it. To get there, you need to go to Mosul's Harmless and go all the way to the eastern side of it. I'm not going to talk about how to get there too much more because it's pretty straightforward if you've done the quest to get there, and that quest is Cabin Fever, and you also need level 40 cooking in order to do it, so pretty low requirements. The only really recommended items that you should definitely bring are a monkey speak amulet or cramulet so you can talk with the monkeys, and a rune or dragon hatchet so you can cut down trees more easily. And this is what the map looks like when you're in the game. So it's two teams and they're pretty much exactly mirror images of each other with some islands in the middle there. And I'll talk more about what's in each location uh, later on. So this is what it looks like when a game begins. The point of trouble brewing is to make rum and it's sort of fitting as it's a pirate themed thing. Uh, so in order to make the rum you'll need to collect a variety of ingredients. So this is where you deposit the ingredients just up the ladder and each of those pictures has a little hopper in front of it and you just use the items on the hopper. So then also uh, just showing here the workbench which has a variety of different things that you'll be able to use. I'll go more into the rest of the items later on, but the first thing is the buckets, and this is to collect the buckets of water ingredient, and it's quite easy. This is by far the easiest ingredient to collect, and it's just collecting water from a pump. Uh, so I usually do it in, um, in 26 buckets at a time, and I deposit 25 buckets into the hopper uh, once I fill them up, and I'll go into why I do that amount later, but uh, it's just quite easy. Fill it up here and then go back up the ladder and deposit it in the hopper, so really nothing to it. The second ingredient that I'm showing is how to get colored water, and in order to get this you'll need to get some flowers of the color of your team, and to get these you have to go to the enemy base, although it's not really enemy, I just I guess just the other team's base, and just pick up flowers here. And you can only hold five flowers at a time, but you can get around this by having a partner. So as you can see, the two people who are by me, they're trading each other, and so they're just trading all the flowers to one person, and that'll save a lot of running back and forth. So anyway, I just run these flowers back to my base. Um, as you can see, my team has just finished a run there, so I just collect that while I'm there. Um, and then, uh, I put the flowers into the kettle, and once the flowers are in the kettle, you can use empty bowls on the kettle to get bowls of colored water out of it, and that's all, and then you can just put them up in the hopper, just like the buckets of water. Now the next ingredient is a bit tricky, and I actually do a few ingredients in one, in one grouping because they're in the same location. So, the first thing is the bitter nuts, and to get bitter nuts you have to catch monkeys and color them to your team's color using a, a bowl of colored water. So as you can see I just used a bowl of red water on the monkey there, turns it into a red monkey, and then I use it on a bitter nut tree, and the monkey will go up the tree and get a bitter nut for me. And this is where the uh, amulet of monkey speak is quite helpful because you can tell it to be angry or be mean or something like that, and it'll make it go a lot faster. It'll take, yeah, a lot less time. Um, so, yep, that's it. You just get bitter nuts like that, and you can move a few steps away from the tree, and you'll still get the bitter nut once the monkey's done getting it. So, yeah, feel free to cut down the logs there or do other stuff. And you can only hold two bitter nuts at a time, so don't get a third monkey and send it up because you won't get anything from it. And bitter nuts, I'd say, are generally the uh, the most difficult ingredient to get. And uh, so yeah, if you're in a team just full of random people, you should probably be getting bitter nuts. Um, okay, and so this is another ingredient called scrapey tree bark. So you just cut down scrapey trees, and as you can see, I'm getting the logs there. And then I just need to click on the logs and that'll turn it into the bark. It's quite easy. And I'd say that's probably the second easiest ingredient to get after the water. Okay, and next are sweet grubs. And to get these, you just use raw meat on the grubs on the ground there. And there are multiple locations where you can do it. It's not a big deal where, as you can see, there's one on the ground there. Uh, they're really all over, so... Uh, 
Yep. They're just a nice easy thing to do while you're getting bitter nuts or scrappy tree bark. Yeah, so you can combine the collection of all three of those ingredients quite easily and then just bring them back and put them in the hoppers as usual. Now this next one isn't officially an ingredient, but it's still quite necessary. It's using logs to burn the, uh, or to heat up the boilers. So as you can see, there are three boilers, uh, although now I'm running away from them. Uh, but anyway, you need to put logs under the boilers in order to heat it, heat them up in order to make rum. And you need three logs in each boiler at minimum to make rum. And the logs burn even when you're not making rum, so you should only be putting them in if you've got enough ingredients to make rum. Uh, so to get logs, you just go around and cut down trees, nothing to it really. Uh, and you can also cut down the scrapey trees here while uh, while you're there if you need them. Okay, and then so now I'm running back into the base. And as you can see in the, it's sort of hard to see at this angle, but in the southwest corner of the room, there's a little box with some logs in it. And you can actually put logs in it and then take some out. Uh, it's just a way to store logs when you don't want to be burning them. And I've, I haven't tested it myself, but I've heard that if you put scrapey tree logs in there and then try and withdraw them, you get normal logs out. So since scrapey tree logs are so much easier to get than normal logs, that's probably a good option. Um, and also, it doesn't, it, I mean, it's really obvious, but once you put the first log in, you need to light the fire in order to, um, in order to put more in. Not a big deal, but just good to point out, I guess. And that covers almost all of the aspects of the gameplay. There's only one more aspect that I like to cover, and that is sabotage. And sabotage is completely useless, and it's really just for people who are jerks. And I hesitate to even show it being used in this, um, but there was a funny exam and information thing, so I wanted to do it. Um, so sabotage, it's completely useless because it just slows people down and there's no advantage for winning or losing. Like if one team wins, they don't get any extra points. So there's absolutely no point in it except annoying people and, uh, and slowing down the amount of points they get. Um, because it slows down the amount of rum they get. So uh, it's really just if you're a really big jerk, then go around and sabotage stuff. Oh boy, aren't you cool? Um, but no, seriously, don't sabotage. It's really lame. Um, and yeah, that's everything um, except for uh, how to repair from sabotage, which is very useful when jerks do come around. Uh, and to do that, you just use a bucket of water on something that's on fire, or you just wait for the fire to go out, and then you use repair pieces on it. As you can see in my inventory, I have bamboo uh, bamboo pipes, and they're uh, what is used to repair the boiler pipes and to repair the water pump. Uh, there are also other items that you can get from the tool bench, and uh, you can use those to repair other things. So there's like the wooden planks or wooden pieces to repair the hoppers and the bridge pieces to re repair the bridge, of course. Um, yeah, nothing all that important there. Um, so yeah, that's all for sabotage. Don't do it. It's really bad and people who do it are really lame. The next thing to talk about is the scoring system, how you get points at the end. And the scoring system is determined first off by how many ingredients you collect overall. Each ingredient counts for one point up to a maximum of 100. So the easiest way to fill this up is to just collect 100 buckets of water. And that's why I was doing 26 buckets of water at a time. I was I would deposit 25 at a time. Um, and that would allow me to do four batches of buckets of water. And it would be a nice even number. And I'd know that I was going to get the max points from that. So uh, I do recommend doing buckets of water, but only after your team is getting some rum going. Because that's the second thing that you get points from. You get points from getting rum. And each rum that your team makes, you get two points, as long as you've contributed at least one ingredient that is not buckets of water. So uh, go help out collecting rum and putting in ingredients, and then go collect buckets of water once you've got a steady supply of rum coming in. And also just to mention, it takes about 30 seconds for a rum to be made if you have all the ingredients. So you can sort of estimate how many ingredients you need when you're par partially through from that. So yeah, in short, Help out your team getting ingredients and then go collect buckets of water once you've got a steady supply of rum. 
And now that we've finished talking about the ingredients, the gameplay, and the scoring, now it's on to the rewards. And the rewards aren't all that great, to be honest. There are a few different things. First off, you get a minor amount of experience after each round. It's very minor. I almost hesitate to talk about it because it's just really minor. And then the second thing is cosmetic items, and that's what I'm showing on the screen now. There are these naval outfits and uh, also some flags, and the naval outfits, they don't do anything. They're just uh, just for fun, I guess, or just to be cosmetic. Um, and same with the flags, they just, they're just for looks. You can also get this rum from Trouble Brewing, which will allow you to teleport there. And it's, uh, it's one use, but it only costs two pieces of eight per rum, so it's really inexpensive. Um, and there are two types, red and blue, and they don't do anything different really. And then there are two more rewards. First of all, there's the stuff, which is used to increase the chance of making a mature ale when you're brewing ales. And that's actually a pretty decent moneymaker. Some of those mature ales actually sell for a decent amount. Um, and then the final reward from Trouble Brewing is pretty much a joke or a troll. Whoever put that in there was either not thinking straight or they were just trolling people. And that's a level two clue, a medium clue. They cost 5k tokens, which is over 10 hours of gameplay in Trouble Brewing just to get a level two clue. So <laughs> that makes absolutely no sense. When they came out with elite clues, I suggested that they change it to being an elite clue, but I never got any feedback on that. But anyway, that's everything for Trouble Brewing. Uh, if you're watching this video on the day of the release, I'm going to be doing a Trouble Brewing live stream, and I'll probably put the link to the live stream footage in the description of this video when the live stream is done, so if you're interested in that, take a look. And then just a thanks to Hellchick, Time to Max, Majin Vegito 3, uh, Sorax Kairi and uh, CA13B for coming to Trouble Brewing while I was doing the videoing for this guide. And also especially to Hellchick because she runs a Trouble Brewing friends chat and clan chat and I've got the information for that in the description. But the friends chat is T Brew, and the clan chat is Trouble Brewing and you can join the clan chat as a guest. And so yeah, if you're ever looking to do some Trouble Brewing, check those out. And that's everything. Thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed the video or you found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't, and thank you for watching.